this is my YouTube channel. That was my first job, a teacher. <laughs> to my youtube channel oh my god i'm so excited i'm so excited welcome to my youtube channel i'm saying that again yes because this is my youtube channel my name is naomi and i'm so happy to be in this space i'm happy to be here so i'm going to be doing a get to know me tag it's just like my introduction this video is my introduction video and this is my very first video on this YouTube channel. So I'll be answering 20 questions, 20 questions, 20 things you'll get to know about me today for the people that don't know me. So this video is for everybody watching this. So um, my name, my full name is Naomi Ihotun Bede. And uh, the meaning of my middle name, Ihotun, it means love. Ihotun means love. Um, I was named, according to my dad, they named me because of the love they had for each other, my mom and my dad. So that's why they gave me Ihotun, which is love. So. I was named after the love my parents had for each other. Um, my nickname is Nina. My friends call me Nina. Some of my friends call me Ni. Some of my friends call me Nana. <laughs> Anywhere you want, but it's Nina. My nickname is Nina. I am from Benue State. I'm from Nigeria first. I'm a Nigerian. Benue State. I'm from Benue State. I got to local government area. I am an Idoma girl. <laughs> yes, we are fine like that. Well, despite the fact that I'm from Benin State, I wasn't born here. I was born in Delta State, worry. I was born and brought up there. I I was in, I was ten years. I was ten years before we moved out of worry. So yeah, I was born and brought up in worry. Um, my hobbies I love singing I love dancing I love making videos they are therapeutic for me I love watching movies I love um, I love a whole lot of weird things but those are my hobbies singing dancing reading novels watching movies going out taking myself out that's my hobby well when i was little i always wanted to be on the tv i didn't know the real name for that course is mass communication i always called it journalist abby no i always called it newscaster whenever anyone asked me now what did you want to be i would say i want to be a newscaster so it was when i grew up i found out that the general name is mass communication Well, I attended a whole lot of schools. In summary, I, I changed school a lot. So, I'm going to mention them here. Well, the first school I attended was Word of Faith in a room in Worry. Then, I changed to New Era, New Era Model School. Then, I changed to St. Luke's Nursery and Primary School, Airport Road, Worry, Delta State. And then when we moved to Abuja, I attended King's International College, Monia Ibado. That was my JS1 first and second team. Then I changed to Seta International College, Karu, Old Karu, Abuja. That was my JS1 third team and JS2 first team. Then we now moved to Benue State and then I went to Wesley High School. I did my JS2 first, JS2 taught them to SS1 taught them in Wesley High School. And then I changed to Udumu, Udumu Ochebi International College. So that was where I wrote my WAIEC, that was where I graduated from. So in total, I attended one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven schools. Wow. I didn't repeat. Yeah, I'm that smart. My favorite color, my favorite colors are black, royal blue, white. I love us blood. I love brown. I'm beginning to love brown. Like now, as you can see, my hair it's brown. So those are my favorite colors. Well, I have five siblings. Mm -hmm. I have five siblings. Three girls and two boys. Mm, I'm the other of the house. Yeah, I have a child. I'm a single mom. I have a child. Her name is Mercy and she'll be seven years this year. So that's it. I have a child. Um my education. I'm currently an undergraduate. I'm schooling in Benue State University, Makodi. I'm a 400 level student. I'm a final year student. I'll soon be done, but Asu is not letting me go. But by the grace of God, I'll be done soon. So that's it. Studying mass communication, like I told you earlier. Um, my occupation for now, I'm a chef. I am a crocheter. I am a podcaster. And now, a new one just added. A YouTuber, is that it? <laughs> well, that's what I do for a living. To earn a little, little cash since I'm still a student and I can't really do a full-time job. So that's it. My first job. You don't want to know the story. So my first job. That was when I finished secondary school, 2015. I wanted to be independent. I was thinking, ah, I finished to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me work. So I went to apply as a teacher in a primary school. It was really, really nice. It was a very good experience. I don't regret it at all. I was able to impact knowledge the way knowledge was impacted in me. So that was my first job, a teacher. <laughs> well, um, the first thing I noticed about people is your dressing. Well, before you say a word, your dressing your physical appearance matters a lot because if you walk up to me looking like so mal so mal i won't really be comfortable i might even snub you so your physical appearance matters that's what i look at that's the first thing i get to notice about someone my idea of a perfect date I haven't really gone on a date, but I've always had ideas of how I would want my date to be in my head. I would really want a quiet dinner date if, if the man inviting me for a date has money, he could book the whole place <laughs> just for the both of us. But then, if he doesn't, a uh, reservation in a quiet, in a very serene environment or in a garden. Uh, I also love a picnic date. Yeah. So that's my perfect idea of a date. I mean, that's my, yeah, that's my idea of a perfect date. A picnic or a dinner date. It's cool. Um, the favorite thing I like to do when I'm free I pick up my crochet hook. Any small thing, I'm picking up my crochet hook. I love creating new dresses, new outfits, and it's really, really amazing. And then, secondly, I make videos. Mm -hmm. I'll just place my phone and do videos, record content for my business page. It's stressful. Being a content creator is definitely stressful. In fact, being a Nigerian is stressful. But we gotta do what we gotta do to keep looking this good. So. That's what I do when I'm free. 
Um, what inspires me? My dad. My dad. That man inspires me a whole lot. He keeps telling us a lot of things about his childhood and all of that and it's really inspiring and I really, really, really want to be greater than him, you know? That's the dream of every parent, for their child to be greater than them. So, they inspire me. My whole family inspires me, in fact. I want to be the best for them. Um, I'm new to this place and I hope that it's all going to be alright here. I'm going to make sure that this space is so fun that when you come across my video, you wouldn't want to scroll past. So, thank you for watching. Bye.